Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to play the Colin McRae uh, Dirt game without any issues. If you have a, a CPU that has more than four cores, uh, that's a uh, issue that's plagued the, uh, you know, people that have computers that have uh, a high amount of cores, it will crash on you. Uh, so if you're interested in giving this a shot, let's go ahead and open up our browser. We're going to travel to two websites that will have the necessary files that we need. So let's head over here to the uh, Mod Database website. We're going to scroll down here. So we're going to get the three patches here. If you have a patch already installed and don't know, it'll probably tell you when you try and overwrite it. So to uh, go ahead and play safe, just go ahead and download all three of them. So you're going to have the 1.1 patch you're going to download. You're going to download the 1.2 and also the 1.22 uh, once you have those downloaded there's some optional files here that you might want to get that'll enhance the graphics some so you can choose to get the uh, graphics mod 3.0.20 go ahead and get this one do not download this one as it is the older version so we're going to skip from this 3.0.20 graphics mod and then it also has a nighttime uh, lighting add-on so you can go ahead and click on that if you want that also so that's going to be the files we need from there. Then we're going to go here and download the uh, Colin McRae uh, Dirt Fix. So we're going to click on this page here and we're going to download this file right there. Now, once you have that file downloaded to your system, just go ahead and maneuver to both uh, folders. Try and have a folder for the game open and also a folder where the uh, files are downloaded. All right, now that we have both folders open here, we're going to go ahead and start doing the patching. So we're going to start with the lowest number one. We're going to go ahead and double click on that. Click next. We're going to go through the steps here. This should be uh, relatively quick. Uh, if you installed it to the default directory, just go ahead and click next. If you didn't change, uh, you know, the folder location to where you have the game installed by clicking on change and pointing to the correct folder. Let's go ahead and get that done. So that is super quick. Go ahead and click finish. Now we're going to do the second patch, which is the 1.21. Double click on that one. We're going to do the exact same thing. There we are. Once again, super quick. Now we're going to do the last one, which is the 1.22 patch. Double click on that. And default directory. So go ahead and click next again. Apparently it's telling me it's in the wrong folder. Okay, see, so right here, so it's assuming you did it to the uh, program file 64 bit. So go ahead and if you did it to the uh, x86 folder, just go ahead and click browse. Then you're just going to navigate to that folder. So you see, it's that. Once you have the correct folder chosen, just go ahead and continue with the install. There we are. We have the folder corrected here. So let's go ahead and continue. It says the file was updated successfully. Do not launch as of yet. Go ahead and click finish. So now we're going to install uh, the fix here, which I've already extracted to the folder. So now what we're going to do is launch this one. So go ahead and right click there, run as administrator. And we'll let this here do its thing. There we go. So on mines, uh, it's doing the maximum cores it can use with this fix, which is 12. So that may vary on your system, depending on what you have. So once that is done, we should be able to launch the game and get it to launch without crashing uh, when you launch a race. So let's go ahead and give that a test. So I'm going to go ahead and configure the graphics here.
Hey, so once you do any uh, graphical changes, it's going to go ahead and restart. So let that uh, do its thing. Should come up shortly. All right, now that we made those settings, it should have the new uh, graphics options chosen here. So let's go ahead and start that and the game should not crash. In the racing class, then. start low to gain your confidence, then rise to the top in your rhythm. Race day, baby. I'm feeling. And there you have it. As you can see, the game did not crash, so it is good to go. So what we're going to do now, the, these are the optional steps. So if you got it to work uh, and you don't want the, uh, you know, enhanced graphics, you can go ahead and stop watching the video. Uh, if you are interested in getting the other, uh, you know, file set up, just go ahead and stick around. We'll go ahead and get those installed. All right, so let's head over back to the uh, download section and we'll get our files out of there. So let's go ahead and extract each of these to their separate folders. Right click and extract the separate folder. There we are. Let's do the graphics mod first. And this is pretty easy. They got it set up real good here. So if anything happens and you want to set everything back, you can just go in here and then re, you know, re uh, paste the original files into the folder. If you want to try out the mod, just go ahead and open this folder here where it says copy the game folder. We're going to copy both of those folders, control C. Then we are going to paste that inside the game and it will automatically put them in the correct folders for you. So you are going to get an overwrite, uh, you know, files message. So go ahead and click on that, tell it yes. Let's hit the do this for all current items, continue, and it'll finish that process out. Then we're going to head over to the second mod here for the uh, nighttime lighting we're going to do the exact same thing and this one also has the original files there in case you want to set everything back the way it was so go ahead and copy those two folders same exact thing paste that into the game directory overwrite the files now that is done we should go ahead and launch this and i like this because it gives it a more uh, a better effect for the bloom effects in the game so let's go ahead and launch it with that and we'll just jump into the exact same rate so you guys can see the difference. There we are, so everything is good to go. As you can see, everything is working fine. So if you guys make use of the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the uh, comment section, and we'll see you soon.